Hello friend, welcome back to Mechanical Design Adda. Today's question is very simple but very important. Which section gives the more strength? Circular section, I-beam section, rectangular section or C section? Which section gives the more strength? First, let understand the strength is depends on what kind of load acting on the part. There are four main types of loads. Uh, first one is tensile or compression or shear. Tensile is nothing but the pulling and compression is nothing but the pushy. And shear in that two uh, opposite direction force are acting on the part and there is a shearing is happening. Then the bending load is there uh, where the beam is supported at one end or two end and loading on the uh, other side and the torsion uh, uh, is there where the twisting action is happened and buckling is there where the long column uh, is uh, under the compression and fixed at other end so different shapes behave differently under this load condition so there are some key properties uh, from that we can easily understand the section strength and the types of loading under the types of loading how much the strength we will get like in the tension or compression the uh, important property is the cross sectional area so if the area is larger then we can say it is a it gives the more strength and in bending uh, the movement of inertia and the section modulus plays a key role where suppose the movement of inertia and the section modulus is on higher side then the better bending resistance will be there and in torsion polar movement of inertia is very important it controls the twisting resistance so it controls the twist and in buckling the radius of gyration is very important radius of gyration so formula i have written here uh, uh, under the square root of i divided by i i divided by a so here i is moment of inertia and a is the area so more the radius of gyration better buckling resistance will be there generally for bending we mostly use this formula z is equal to i divided by c where this uh, uh, Z is the section modulus. So it represents the bending strength of cross section. Uh, higher the section modulus, it indicates the greater resistance to the bending. Okay, so I is the moment of inertia and C is the distance from the neutral axis. Neutral axis means where there is a no stress. So axis where there is a no stress and uh, from the neutral axis to the farthest point of the cross section. So that distance is the C. Uh, let's compare the different uh, section one by one. First one we have the solid circular rod. Uh, these are generally used in the shaft axle. So it gives the strong uh, twisting. So strong uh, uh, generally used where the strong twisting is there. So at that time we use the solid circular rod but uh, not very efficient for the bending and uh, hollow circular tubes uh, having the less cross section area but uh, very good at torsion and use in the frames bicycle aircraft and uh, hollow tubes are lightweight but offer the high strength to weight ratio and next one we have the i section or generally we call it as a i beam it is excellent in bending and uh, poor in the torsion actually and it is used in the bridges and the building i beam gives the maximum bending strength per unit weight and that's why uh, it's used in everywhere in the civil structure then we have the c section or we generally call it as channel it is good at bending and uh, weak at the torsion and use in the frame structural support components and uh, c sections are easy to manufacture but uh, they twist easily under the load 
and the rectangular hollow section mm, uh, we can say box section it is uh, very good in both the direction bending uh, in the both the direction and torsion is at actually a better than the i beam and it is used in the building automotives and uh, box sections are is uh, generally balanced in the both the direction and that's why it is used in the frame and robotics so how do engineer choose the best section so first one they understand or identify the type of the loading on the structure then uh, we require the strength so uh, uh, strength require we need to understand or we need to calculate the strength requirement then we, to, we need to choose the proper section using the highest uh, modular section or the polar moment of inertia and then the uh, we need to consider the weight factor cost and the space uh, these are the factor we need to consider if two sections have the same material one with the higher section modulus will be the stronger in the bending so as we discussed higher section modulus it means it is stronger in the bending if two sections having the same material then one with the higher section modulus it will be stronger in the bending you can see here the chart where I mentioned the different types of section and the uh, types of loading. So solid uh, circular sections generally good in the torsion uh, also the ho hollow tubes are good in the torsion and the compression and I-beam section it is good in the bending and C section generally uh, is moderate compared with the, all the sections. So having the moderate in the bending, torsion and the compression and it is washed at the um, buckling and the torsion actually. So box sections it is good in the bending and moderate in the torsion, comp uh, compression and buckling, uh, buckling compared with the other. So friend comment below which section you use the most, I section or the pipe. If you like this video, please like and subscribe the channel for more, more mechanical. If you like this video, please like and share with your friend and subscribe the channel. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.